At Donetsk airport, a scene of devastation. Men from both sides lie in these ruins. Recovering their bodies is a grim and difficult business. Sometimes there are just bones. But it's all further complicated by the firing that continues here on a daily basis, despite the ceasefire that's been officially in place since mid-February. OSCE observers are showing us round. But also here is a Russian army officer who is mediating body exchanges between the Ukrainian government forces and the Russian-backed separatists. The bodies of at least 30 Ukrainian soldiers were lying here, separatist officials said. So far, seven had been recovered. The next evening, a refrigerator truck containing the bodies of 27 Ukrainian soldiers arrived at a morgue in separatist-held Donetsk. A group of pro-government Ukrainian volunteers had crossed the front line to pick them up. The bodies were transferred from one truck to the other. The process overseen by the Red Cross and a local separatist official. The body bags are mounting. The UN says more than 6,000 people have been killed in this conflict so far. Even if the ceasefire holds, nobody knows how many more bodies these ruins will yield.